Today, I'm one of the most popular girls at magic school. But it hasn't always been this way. You see, my dad, Triton, is the ruler of the undersea kingdom. My mother passed away when I was a little kid. That's why dad has taken care of me since my early years. On the one hand, he spoiled me with luxury. On the other, his parenting style was super overprotective. I couldn't make my own decisions. I had no say in the choice of friends, clothes, and even books. He was sure that homeschooling has been a safer option for the future undersea queen. So I wasn't allowed to go to regular school. Also, he hired security guards to watch me wherever I go. They kept other creatures away from me, especially boys. When I was 10 years old, our neighbor Mermaid Boy tried to give me a card on Valentine's Day. And guess what? My dad made his entire family move to another ocean. I've never been on a real date and never been kissed. My only true friend was my starfish, but I didn't lose hope. And one day, a life-changing opportunity knocked on my door. I found a cheerleader's flyer from a magic school, which is located out of the sea. I got so inspired by those happy faces. I needed to become one of them, so I decided to spend my senior year out of the sea. I was shaking while trying to get my dad's permission, but he just tore the flyer, gave me a cold, arrogant look and said, Don't even think about it! For the first time in my life, I got the courage to stand for myself. I yelled, You cannot tell me what to do, Dad! I'm an adult! But he laughed in my face and left for an urgent business meeting. That was very painful, but I didn't give up that easily. Later that night, I snuck into his closet and took a potion to turn my tail into legs. Early in the morning, I ran away from the palace. Thankfully, my car worked well in both worlds. On my way to school, I imagined how much fun I would have. Oh gosh, I was so naive. In my first geography class, I made a laughing stock of myself because I didn't know any countries other than the underwater kingdom. My legs were so inconvenient that I fell in the middle of the cheerleader audition. Pinky, the head of the cheerleading squad, said, But you're a princess. Why are you so bad at dancing? They kicked me out, of course. At lunch, I ate paper napkins because I thought they were food. Love Boy posted this video and it went viral in a blink of an eye. Even my cousin still sends me the napkin lady memes. I was hoping to meet real friends here, but everyone avoided me and whispered behind my back. When I tried to use a water fountain, it splashed me and I fell to the floor because my legs turned into a tail. Everyone stared at me and laughed. So embarrassing. I decided to leave that school for good and never step on dry land again. But at that very moment, I noticed a tall guy in the crowd. He smiled at me, and my heart melted. He said, Hi, I'm Bully, the strongest guy in the school. Let me help you. While he was carrying me in his arms, I decided to give that school another chance. My heart was throbbing. We were having intense eye contact. This is when I heard my father's voice. Yep. It took him just a few hours to find me. He looked furious. Very carefully, Bully put me on the floor and disappeared. As calmly as he could, Dad asked me to come back home. I didn't want to let him win and said, No, Dad. I'm going to study here. He replied, You won't get any gifts or pocket money until you leave that school. Can you believe that? Later that day, at the parking lot, I learned that Daddy had taken the car too. It was a disaster. I've never traveled on foot. I tried to walk a couple of miles, but the shoes hurt my feet. Suddenly, Bully popped out of nowhere and offered me a ride. We talked and laughed a lot. Bully made me laugh so hard that coke ran out of my nose. <laughs> and just after that, I noticed a gold heart-shaped locket on Bully's chest. I said, this accessory is too girly for a matcha guy like you. Bully was confused and replied, This is my mom's locket. She passed away when I was a child. I was very much ashamed of that question. 
we drove the rest of the way in silence. My gloomy dad met me on the shore, and Bully said a hurried goodbye. The next day, I went to school again. At lunch, a cafeteria worker told me that I had to pay for my food. But I didn't have any cash. Suddenly, Bully handed me his sandwich and smiled. Every girl at school had a crush on him, so they got furious when they saw him helping me. I bounced on the sandwich so greedily that ketchup smeared across my face. Bully laughed and started wiping it off my lips. Our eyes met, and there was a very awkward pause. I offered Bully to sit next to me, but he gave me a stern look and sat down at Pinky's table. They were chatting like I didn't even exist. I lost my appetite and felt like the dumbest girl in the world. After classes, he was waiting to give me a ride as if nothing happened. That time, I spilled coffee on myself and burned my hand. Bully gently took my hand, blew on it, and then kissed it. The... What was that? That weird game between us continued for several months. Bully always appeared when I needed his help and disappeared just as suddenly. He never paid attention to me in public. I couldn't figure out whether he liked me or not. So, I used all sorts of tricks to test his feelings. Touched his hand accidentally, faked falling in front of him, and so on. Once, I asked him to fasten a zipper on my top. Bully was slowly pulling the zipper up. And then, all of a sudden, he kissed my shoulder. Caught by surprise, I abruptly raised my hand and broke his nose. I caught his loving eyes many times. But still, usually he acted very coldly. One day, he was driving me to the shore as usual. When he stopped the car, I lost my patience and asked him directly. Do you like me or not? He looked very sad and opened his mouth to say something. But my overprotective dad showed up before Bully said a word. Bully squeezed my hand and said goodbye. Later, I opened my fist and saw his mom's locket. I was on cloud nine. He truly liked me. He was just too afraid of my dad. Later that night, I found old letters that my dad wrote to my mom. And gosh, my dad was such a poet. He even signed, XOXO, your sweet turtle, <laughs> at the end of each letter. And then I got a genius idea. To find a girlfriend for my dad to leave me alone. Hmm, but who? <gasps> my teacher seemed to be the perfect match. The easiest way to introduce them was to break school rules. So I pranked the teacher. And she called my dad. They had a private conversation after the classes. After that, Dad invited my teacher to a restaurant for dinner. That was so awkward. He laughed nervously and splashed her face with juice. However, she looked happy. I've never seen my daddy like this. He was so cute and awkward. The next week, Dad was too busy with his brand new girlfriend. So Bully and I could hang out without being afraid of my dad. We visited many places, but still, Bully didn't act like my boyfriend. One day, Bully invited me to a school dancing party. I didn't want to go. I was sure that my classmates hated me. But eventually, Bully apologized for being so mean. Pinky promised to help me become a cheerleader, and Nerd offered to help level up my grades. Finally, I felt welcome at school. Bully and I had a slow dance and I thanked him for being so kind to me. I moved closer to kiss him, but he moved away and said, Mermaid, we need to talk. I didn't let him finish and kissed him. Bully hugged me back tightly. Next second, my dad popped out of nowhere and began to yell at Bully. I paid you for protecting my daughter, not kissing her. What? Is this true? I looked at Bully. He nodded, looking like a guilty puppy. He had been lying to me this whole time. He was just making money. I looked around. Everyone was staring at us. Some even filmed this scene. I couldn't stand it anymore. 
so I pushed Bully away and left the party in tears. Later that night, I was crying in my room. Bully betrayed me in front of everyone. My father ruined the party, and my life too. I was sure if I show up at this school again, they'll pelt me with mud. Suddenly, Dad knocked on my door. I expected him to start scolding me, but he looked very sad too. It turned out that my teacher broke up with him after that ugly scene at the party. I'd never seen him so honest and vulnerable. So I hugged him, and we had a long, honest talk. He gave back all his gifts and promised to stop being so controlling. After that, I felt more confident and decided to graduate at any cost. I went to school the next day, preparing myself for the worst. But nobody even remembered my epic fail. I tried my best to avoid bully, but there he was, waiting for me in the hallway. He said, Please forgive me, mermaid. I really like you a lot. I I couldn't ask you out on a real date because I I felt ashamed that your dad paid me. I was a coward, but I'm not afraid anymore. I wanted to hug him and hit him at the same time. He handed me a car key and added, Please accept this little gift. I've spent all the money I earned on it. Bully took me to the parking lot and showed me my new car. I told him, Well, I'm not quite ready to forgive you, Bully, but we can hit the road together. Which we did. By the way, my dad kept his word and gave me my freedom. In return, I convinced the teacher to make it up with him. And they're still together, just like Bully and I.
Bam. Oh! <laughs> 